Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm honored today to have uh, Naya coming here uh, to Break Studios and to film with us a couple of interviews. And maybe we'll do maybe a little bit of fashion, even uh, might uh, do uh, basketball fashion. Uh, Naya is young model. Uh, she's only 13, uh, came with her mom, uh, but we met uh, apparently a couple of times at different fashion shows, and uh, at least you remember me from the Rick Davy uh, Fashion Week Brooklyn. Uh, how was it for you as a model there? Um, I feel like it was a lot of exposure, it was fun, um, I feel like I got to... Um, where different by exposure how many likes do you get how many followers you got uh, like what, what exactly you, you in exposure you meant um, so a lot of people a lot of people recognize me on Instagram and on Facebook mm -hmm. I get how did you grow let's say you had a thousand before and then after you had two like what's the a spike did you get any spike no it was like it built as I went up as a model I I made business cards I gave out my business cards mm -hmm. at every fashion show that I was at um like i could be like on the train or something and i'll see some someone like with it like a certain purse and it'll catch my eye and they'll just happen to be a designer and i'll give them yeah i'll just give them my card and i give them my instagram and that's how my followers go up so you reach out to the folks that you think uh, matter and uh, that's how you you grow but i thought like for me every time let's say a canale and i will we, we go to a particular event if the event is big let's say a macy's parade or like a you know like a puerto rican parade or like some some major event that gives like we do production let's say a video and we get a spike in the following in number of uh, subscribers like uh, uh same thing with the fashion show if i film a beautiful fashion show and i put it on the instagram or facebook or youtube for what that matter i, I get uh some some uh, decent, uh, you know, uh, a new uh, blood coming to uh, my channel. Do you get as a model a similar effect, or you, or you didn't feel much here from at least from Fashion Week Brooklyn? Um, for like I would say three of the fashion shows that I've been to, I've got like a spike in my um following on Instagram, mm -hmm. like all together. Um, which was the most uh, <coughs> uh, strong, the strongest one? Um, I feel the Living Dolls project. Living Dolls. Yeah. Talk about it. So the Living Dolls Project is basically, um, the the owner is Timothy is smart. Um, we basically have mentors. He brings mentors in. And this all stemmed from, he was buying a doll, a doll for his niece mm -hmm. one Christmas. And they didn't have any African-American dolls. And he basically said, why aren't there any African-American dolls? And he had to go, he lives in New Jersey. He had to go all the way. He went, I think he went. He went somewhere, but he had to go a long way just to find an Af uh, African-American doll. Wow. So he turned that into an actual real life. He turned that into a real life scenario. So we, he has models and he basically mentors models and he has mentors there to mentor models and to build them on their self-esteem, their, their confidence and their walk. Uh, what was your favorite moment at uh, the Fashion Week Brooklyn with Rick Davy? Did you like anything there? Like uh, what you don't like? Like, uh, can you talk a little bit about your experience uh, there? Since uh, you, that's something that I do quite often. I feel like the whole the whole experience was fun. Like um, we got before the show, we got to network with different models. So let's let's start step by step. So casting. Did your mom brought you attention? You found you casting yourself. Like who was the designer? pick you up like what was the process on the casting so there was a um on instagram there was a um advertisement for a casting call and we went to the casting call actually my production sent me to the casting call and we went to the we went to the casting and um it was in the Brooklyn Public Library yes. and designer um one designer um at the show he picked me she picked me out and she was and she told me that she liked she liked my walk and she would love for me to walk for her. Mm -hmm. And Rick Davy also put me to the side and he said um that he would like me to walk for um a certain show. So I at that casting I had gotten two shows. Um yes. and they contacted me and we came we went back and forth. I went to fittings and at and then they told me the show date at the show. Um we got there I think about four or four hours early wow. and we got to um basically connect interact with others um i feel like it was a fun fashion show because um we had 
um, there were teenagers who went to um, high school. Mm -hmm. They were our designers. Yes. So we had teenage we had we had teenage designers, mm -hmm. and I feel like it was like a bond that we had because like we were both teenagers. And what did you get as a model? Like, uh, you had a fun day. You had excitement being on the runway. You got some pictures. You got video. Like, wh wh what was the aftermath uh, for you after? Like, you built some new friends. You built a relationship with designer. Like, what 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 happened to you after after the show? So I feel like I got a connection with the designer because the designer called me back for another fashion show to do with her. Mm -hmm. And um, I got good ex exposure at that fashion show also um, with like about, I would say, it was a lot of, it was a lot of people. Uh, can you talk a little bit about your uh, support uh, from your family? Your mom is here, uh, bring you here and stays with the, like, uh, ask, uh, usually we had one time I was filming actually with like an alley at uh, YouTube space and uh, we had a younger model uh, who came not with, no, I don't think he was in here. I was uh, filming without like an alley that day. But uh, what happened is uh, the model came, young teenage model came without her parents, but with the agency that represent her. Mm -hmm. And they sound the alert uh, that the fire was uh, drill and that uh, agent who represented that teen model uh, took off and she just ran away without the girl like if that would be a real fire i don't think the real parent your mom would leave and uh, leave you behind but uh, the agent might do that so from uh, when i saw that once i i decide that uh, from now on i will always require par parent parents to stay throughout uh, the interview uh, to the end not not living with the agent um uh, what's um your uh, plan uh, in terms of like uh, doing uh, uh, shows in as a teen, like uh, here at uh, YouTube's uh, at Brick, in this actual studio A, I did once, uh, not once, a couple of times, uh, kids shows, uh, and uh, we, we might have actually uh, uh, do uh, uh, a few more with Rick Davy uh, here again. Uh, what's the uh, as, as a teen perspective on the modeling from for your age like what do you guys talk like uh, because I'm much older and, uh, than you and uh, my daughter doesn't tell me much uh, uh, about her like uh, uh, thoughts and friends but maybe you can give a little insight for the audience like uh, are you getting bullied oh she's pretty she's a model or she's like in getting worship by her classmates like what it's like to be a model uh 13 years old okay so i've been in three different schools and it's all i've been changing schools um because of the bullying and it's not only students it's teachers also okay and um i feel like do you think fashion being on the runway helps you to combat that yeah, and basketball also. It's like a way to a way to convert that energy into competition. Mm -hmm. So, um in this new school that I'm in, it's good, it's fun. Um they like support me also with modeling and stuff. So, yeah. How do teens uh, look at this? Is it cool to be a model, or it's uh, like a, a geeky, or it's like, a, like a, what, what's the like a perception of the classmates? Are you hang out? Like I was just filming a prom, and it's basically I had they had like five hundred uh, kids, right? Big school, and it was a one group, maybe 10, 20 girls maybe 15, 16 years old, very, very young. And they've been so different from everybody else. This group of girls, they had all their, you know, plastic boobs. They had the lips, the, the whole face was constructed. And I kind of felt uh, it was kind of in grotesque way because I see them as kids. They are like 15, 16 year old uh, children, but they already have so much plastic. It's not like a doesn't look even natural or pretty. It's just this thing and everybody stay away from them. And they have they had their own kind of uh, is it uh, 
you know the same with models like people think oh she's a model like uh, let me like you know, let me have my life and let them have their own uh, fun or it's like you know everybody uh, together um i feel like it's it's totally the opposite um like as when i first came to this school that i was in everyone nobody knew like that i was a model because i didn't say as much and they um one of the kids they that see they have eyes <laughs> One of the one of the kids that I had a show with, he also went to that school, and I didn't know that he went to that school. And he was like, "Oh, she's a model," and that also built my Instagram. He told like, cause we have about a thousand kids in our school, mm -hmm. so it went around it went around school quick. Um, so everybody knew quickly. Yeah, and they're like, it's like cool being a model, cause like everyone thinks like, "Oh, she's cool." Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of it's fun too. <clears throat> because like we we can be like at school and um they'll be like oh Anaya do your do your runway walk for me and they'll post it on their Instagram and then I'll get more followers because mm -hmm. they have a lot of followers. Cool. It's fun sometimes. Okay, because I I find it's difficult to find new following at my age and you know folks have jobs and life and uh, I always look at the younger market uh, and uh, how to get more viewership from the kids so doing interview with you hopefully will help me to grow to grow my, my, my younger audience um talk a little bit about uh basketball and uh is there any connection between uh playing a basketball and being a model is there a c competitive edge that uh, you know gets you excited um i don't think basketball is as competitive no modeling isn't as competitive as basketball i don't i, I don't feel because modeling you're um, Everybody, like the, the first spot is very difficult to get because the, the girl who opens the show is the, very important. The girl who closes the show is very important. So it's competitive because there are so many girls coming to the casting, especially if it's like New York Fashion Week or some fa fancy designer. So it's quite competitive as well, don't you think? Yes, but I don't feel as, as competitive as basketball because basketball, like, there's there's... You have to make a certain amount of points more than another team. With modeling, you don't know like who's doing better than you because you're still backstage but, as people are walking out. You, you can see the Instagram. You can see the sales. Whoever sells more uh, of uh, garment mm -hmm. uh, wins. Whoever have more like millions of views uh, wins. Mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty clear. You, you, you can tell. If Lady Gaga speaks about your fashion show, that means uh, that you're winning. If uh, no one pay attention, it's losing. So it's kind of uh, quite competitive, don't you think? It's the way it's the way you look at it. Like I don't look at it as a as a competition like with anyone because I feel like it's to better myself, mm -hmm. not to be better than anyone else. Gotcha. Well, in basketball, you also can have fun and uh, just play the game and enjoy it. Uh, if folks would like to maybe uh, work with you as the uh, model and uh, like you know see uh, if uh, you have a fit for their line, what would be the uh, Instagram maybe account like uh, that maybe your mom is monitoring and it's like same way like we, we spoke uh, before this interview, how they can reach out to you? Um, my Instagram is Anaya Liz. It's spelled A N I Y A L I Z. Um, I have a Facebook account. Also, my Facebook is Naya Pearson, N-I-Y-A-P-E-A-R-S-O-N. Um, and, yeah, that's the way to contact me. Okay. Cool. Guys, check it out.